In 1990, the killer was freed from prison and deported to his native Trinidad. He has lived there in squalor ever since. But Nizamuddin Hussain has turned down $50,000 to tell what happened to his victim, Muriel Mackay, and decided to reveal the truth for nothing, how she collapsed and died, and he buried her on farmland. In an interview with the Mackay family's lawyer, Hussain refused the money. I offered you, and gave me the authority to offer you $50,000. And you said no to that. Why didn't you take that? Money was my objective. What was your objective? Peace of mind. In 1970, Nizam Hussain and his brother Arthur were jailed for life for the kidnap and murder of Mrs Mackay. They had mistaken her for Anna, the wife of newspaper mogul Rupert Murdoch. Muriel's husband was Murdoch's deputy, Alec Mackay. For more than 50 years, Hussain refused to say what happened to Mrs Mackay until her family made him an offer. In a legal contract with the killer, his victim's family had agreed to pay him, in several instalments, up to $50,000 to reveal her body's location. The deal was set up by Muriel's grandson, businessman Mark Dyer. 50,000 US dollars. Ultimately. Uh, ultimately. Um, which I know to a lot of people might find very difficult to accept that. If he was going to help us get to the solution and find my grandmother, finally, um, a little bit of money, if it was quicker, may help. It was rejected. It was pushed away. I'm not having it. No. Any explanation? I don't want money. I don't want this money. Closure. What did you think when he said that? I thought that legitimised him. The killer told the Mackays Muriel suffered a heart attack at their Hertfordshire farm and he buried her body beneath a manure heap. Last year, Scotland Yard searched a patch of the farmland but found nothing. Nizam insisted they dug in the wrong place. He has asked the Home Office to let him return to the UK to show police the true burial site. Martin Brunt, Sky News.